Okay. So I'm gonna get one of the windows. Now in the exam, you have to get both windows, but that's just the use of the mirrors. I'm just, the mirror. I'm just gonna get one window, okay? So on the window here, I'm gonna call this A, B, C. And I'm gonna pick a few points on this curve going along D, E, F. Now look, a lot of teachers will get hung up here. You'd have to divide it up equally in loads of rubbish like that. There's no need for that. There's no need because it's going to achieve the exact same solution. So bring an A and B across. There is A and B at the top of the red line I did in the first video. Bring in C across. I already have that done. There's C at the bottom. I'm going to bring D across. There is D on the window. I'm going to bring F across. F on the window. I'm going to bring E across. E in the window. I'm literally going to bring them down to the 45, bring them across, bring these down, and join it up. So, for example, A and C, bring it down to the 45. Bring A and C across. A, bring it down. There is A. C, bring it down. There is C. Simple, okay? Going to get B next. So I'm gonna bring B down to the 45 degree line. I'm gonna bring it across. I'm gonna bring B down to meet it. Lovely, there is B. Join these up. Now I'm going to get D, E, and F, and that's going to complete the curve, which we'll be drawing in freehand. So I bring down E, I bring E across, I bring E down to meet it. There is E. Same with F, bring F down, bring F to the 45, bring F across, there is F. And finally, we're going to do the same thing with D, Bring D down, bring D to 45, bring it across, and there is D. So we have these dots got, you can get more if you wish to make it easier to draw the curve. And then that finds the curve, heading around here, like so. You mirror that then out to get the other side. Two minute job. Okay, in the last video, I'm going to do part, the last part of the question, which is finding the VTH of this object. 